Retro commissioning, in a nutshell, is um, systematically going through a building and uh, looking at the heating, venting, and air conditioning equipment for the building and optimizing it to run efficiently for the use of the building. Depending on the size of the requirement of, of folks in the rooms or you know, occupants, you'll have different amounts of outside air. If it's a, if it's a system with um, you know, large auditoriums, you're going to need a much more outside air and um, thus less, re less return air. So you're going you're to relieve, or relieve the, the building of much more, much more return and bring in more fresh air. So what happens in a lot of cases, what we find for uh, as we're retro commissioning a building is those um, those adjustments are, are not quite where they should be. And they're bringing in much more outside air, or less in some cases, but a lot of times much more outside air. Therefore, we're heating and cooling much more than we need to, and it's a large energy, energy expenditure. Well, it's not your typical home furnace. There are large air handlers that are larger than this room. We have large absorption machines that create cooling water for our buildings that are, um, you know, huge. So when folks come in and on a weekend and want a system turned on for just their office, they often don't realize that we're heating or cooling uh, 25,000 square feet for maybe just a one 10 by 10 office. Well, the ultimate goal is to make sure the building is going to be running right when we leave the best it can, save the energy, and hopefully when we leave, give them a better environment to work in. The great news is we're, we've got a retro commissioning plan for our over 100 buildings on campus. Uh, it's a five-year plan and we're estimating a 5% savings, but we're seeing more than that.